meeting between Jesus and Nicodemus only occurs in the gospel according to John, the, the fourth gospel, sometimes we call it. And it's very interesting because Nicodemus is a leader of his people, is a member of Sanhedrin, is, is someone who has a lot of influence and a lot of power in his society, and come to Jesus not necessarily to argue with him or try to defeat him, but begin by saying, well, we know you come from God because we have see, seen the signs, the miracles, and you must be from God. Jesus answered back, something that might be considered strange. said, well, all the signs, all the miracles, this is not the kingdom of God I've came to announce. Truly, I tell you, unless you be someone else, you will not be experiencing this kingdom. You almost have to be born again, born from the above. And our poor Nicodemus, who was very learned, does not understand what Jesus is saying. He does not get it. How can someone go back uh, to inside his mother? It does not make sense for a poor mind. And sometimes this is what happened to most of us. When we look at the scripture, especially Gospel according to John, we look at this and first inclination said it does not make sense. What is this logos or this word? Uh, where does this wine come from in Canada? And we know, we have been told, there's a lot of symbols, there's a lot of metaphors. But sometimes we say, okay, there's, there's limits, you know, and, and that goes too far. And we might believe that, okay, religion, must be for people who are very gullible, for people who believe in conspiracy theory, people who like alternative facts. Well, what Jesus is trying to say, trying to teach to Nicodemus, is the difference between to know and to believe. I will give you an example. Uh, as I'm recording this, my wife is at work. Do I know this? Am I sure of this? The answer is no. I, I haven't put a GPS on her. I cannot track her. No camera. Please. <laughs> Not a good idea. But she told me this. And after all the years we've been together, after all the experience, the trust we have established, I believe she's at work even if I have no proof. And this is the attitude Jesus invites us to, to acquire. To Nicodemus' needs for answer, Jesus say, well, you need to have a different take at life. Maybe like if you were a different person, to develop a different kind of faith. And a faith rooted in, your, in trust and a faithful relationship with God, a faith that might not give you all the answers. And in fact, sometimes a faith that will bring you even more questions. A faith that will make you comfortable to say, I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't made my mind yet on this. A faith that is maybe not so obsessed about numbers, about, about uh, results, about getting to the destination, to seeing all the miracles, but the faith that is maybe more about the journey, about the experience, about walking on the road and to slow down a little and to enjoy the beauty surrounding us, a faith that maybe gave us time to talk with someone and discover what that person has to say, a faith based also on experience and even mystery. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this reflection. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Bermet, 
And until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.